the monetary system itself from the from the ground up is deception you know our banking system is designed to extract wealth from people they would they would rather you pay on a house for a year or two and then take the house back than for you to pay it off and own your own house and not have to worry about it and you know, one day we'll live in peace with the lord jesus christ we'll live during the millennium as we rule and reign with the lord jesus christ but we're not here that today you know again we live in a, a crooked world even the, the banking system as it is today, I was speaking with a technician today that came and fixed the air conditioner and we were talking about the monetary system and gold and silver and you know the Federal Reserve System is not federal, it, they don't have any reserves, it's not a government entity and they're stealing from the American people. It's a foreign corporation they're stealing from us and even with inside of that, they've given the power to banks to, for a bank to set up for fractional reserve lending. The, the fractional reserve system allows a bank for every dollar that they have in the bank, they can lend out nine dollars. And we were talking about the housing collapse. You know, 10 years ago, there was a major housing bubble. Uh, we've seen the dot-com bubble, then there was the housing bubble, which was something else. They're forecasting yet another housing bubble or, or maybe even a student loan bubble where there's so much debt, it has to collapse. It, there isn't just enough money to pay it off. And if, if for those that went through it 10 years ago, you remember, I mean, there was millions of people, millions of houses, and, and these properties that were just distressed. I mean, people living in the house for free, and the bank didn't want to take it back because they didn't want the house looted or they didn't want it, you know, mold growing inside. And it it really destroyed the culture in America for a long time. There were people that were damaged from that housing bubble for a long time. And, you know, our money system is deceptive. This world we live in, everything about it is deceptive. And he says, Better is the poor that walketh in his integrity than he that is perverse in his lips and is a fool. And the warning here is that even if it costs you everything you own in this world, keep the truth. Speak the truth. Don't give in to the temptation to be perverse in your lips and say things that are foolish just to try to obtain money. Even our money system today, if you look at a dollar bill, it, it is no longer a representation of value. In the Bible, when you go back and the word money is used and that same word is used as silver. Silver in the Bible was used as money and today our, our monetary system has no value. In fact, it's a debt. It's a note of debt and you can exchange it for debt. And, you know, I believe that God wants us to have the wisdom to know how to operate in this crooked world. To have the wisdom of God to be able to protect ourselves when a famine comes. Listen, the blessing of God is the first way to survive a famine. But I believe God would also have us to be wise to foresee a snare that's coming and to avoid it. And to look out for it and protect against it. You know, the, the debt bubble in America, it's, it's become a, a musical chairs. And somebody's going to get left not having anything. There will be a collapse, and it's going to cause problems. And I believe ultimately they'll use it for the mark of the beast. And, you know, money is a very important part of our society, and we don't have the say over where our money comes from. We don't have the control over our money. And God's using poverty here as an example that even when you're poor, you must maintain your, your righteousness. You must maintain your integrity. 